This is Colorado Matters from CPR News. I'm Ryan Warner. Bluegrass fans in Colorado are taking note of two up-and-comers, sisters Megan and Maddie Cody. Hazel, it's your birthday today. Daddy, They perform as the Cody sisters. Megan sings lead and Maddie wrote this track. The surprising part is that Maddie is just 12, her sister Megan is 14. They live in Parker and perform all over the Front Range this summer. They have a new album out as well. And welcome Cody sisters. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Nice to see you. This song is called Hazel and Maddie, how did it come about? Tell me about writing it. Um, I think... So when I write songs, they sort of just come out of the blue and I just like get ideas for them. And I'm like, I have to write this down so I don't forget it. And then sometimes the song just writes itself and then it just keeps going. What is Hazel about? Um, It's about how a dad or a dad who's always on business or away from home and the daughter is like, missing the dad but he's like missing out on the important part of her life hmm. but it's interesting this is not autobiographical because in fact your dad steve is in our green yeah. room he accompanied <laughs> you here he plays music with you he's basically your manager so th- they're not all literally about your life Maddie. yeah they're mostly focused on the opposite of my life okay <laughs> <laughs> take your experience and make it a bit sadder maybe Yeah, (laughs) pretty much. Okay. Uh, How did you both get into music, Megan? Um, Well, our dad played um, guitar around the house a lot as we were growing up, and we wanted to be just like him. So we um, got guitars for our birthdays, and um, we just started to learn. We started, um, he just would teach us a few things, and then we got... um, other teachers that we took lessons from for a while. And did it feel like you were forced into this at certain points? Like, I remember never wanting to do piano lessons. Or did you take to it really quickly? Oh, no, not at all. We love, not not at all that we didn't like it, but <laughs> we love it so much. And um, if we ever didn't want to do it, then we wouldn't have to at all. But we choose to do it, and we really love what we do. Maddie, would you say that's true for you? Yeah, I agree with that. Hmm. Uh, you play at, at jam circles, at music festivals, I know, a lot, with people who are significantly older than you. <laughs> do you get comments like, oh, how cute? And and what do you think of comments like that, if you do get them? Yeah, we get comments a lot like that, and we don't really like to have those comments because we don't really focus on our age and like how cute we are or something. We just focus on how good we are and like just practicing stuff like that Mm. yeah we we really appreciate everyone like giving us compliments and stuff and i think that when people say that we're cute they really mean well but when we hear that we think oh they think we're cute because we're kids that are playing music but really we work really hard at what we do so um we um appreciate it when people are like wow your music sounds really good instead of whoa you're so cute Mm. Yeah, and there's, I don't know, there's something like vaguely sexist about you're so cute, too. I don't know if you feel yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You say you work really hard. What does that look like on a daily basis? Like, what? how do you balance music and the rest of of being a kid, Maddie? Um. Well, in the summer, I normally wake up and I practice, and then I go about my day. And then we do band practice at night. So the summer's probably a little easier than the yeah. school year. Mm-hmm. The school year is pretty hard because... We live like an hour from school, so like we don't have much time to practice. Huh. Well, we also, find time. I'll say like we go to Denver School of the Arts, right? Um, and at that school, we audition to get in for guitar, and that's our major. So we get to practice guitar for an hour and a half um, every day when we're in school. So we still get that practice in, but it's just a little bit hard. It's a little bit harder to balance out everything during school, but. We still um, have fun and 
get to practice and everything. One of your influences is Bob Dylan, and you cover his song, Don't Think Twice. It's one of my favorites on this new album. It's really nice to hear a lighter, brighter version of that because the other one can leave me so depressed. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And you have such beautiful harmony, the two of you. Is that true in real life, by the way? Like, is it beyond the vocal harmony? Do you two mostly get along? Oh, yeah, for sure. We're best friends. And we, and like playing music together is always really fun for us. And yeah. What's your approach to covering other people's work? Like, what what did you want to bring to that song, Maddie? That um, is really well known. Sort of more of a different feel, like more of our bluegrass sort of way, but like sort of have the same. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Same, like, I emotion think, to it, maybe. Mm. Yeah. You wanted to carry the same emotional weight, but with your own musical spin. Yeah. So it's way more mm. bluegrassy. Yeah, because we have a banjo in it also. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> How did you first get exposed to bluegrass? And I wonder what you thought of it the first time you heard it. Was there any part of you that just thought this sounds like old people's music? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got exposed to it at a pretty early age. So we... And we just wanted to be like our dad, so we didn't really care what music he liked. And then we started <laughs> really liking it, and so we just grew up with it. Yeah, like, none of our friends, or very few of our friends that we go to school with like this music, um, or at least all of it. So, um, and since we started listening to it at an early age, it, like, I guess didn't matter as much to us what other people thought of what we listened to. Huh. Yeah. But it sounds like they've they've vocalized that to you. They've told you. This is weird music that you listen to or that you play? Mm, yeah, sort of. Oh, <laughs> okay. uh, I they're, don't know. They're nice about it. They just, we never listen to it to make them, like, listen to music they don't like. Oh, huh. how thoughtful of you. <laughs> uh, so this album you have called Strings is about half covers, half originals. I wonder, given your age, if you've thought about going on shows like America's Got Talent or The Voice they seem like natural outlets to get yourself a national audience. Megan, what do you think? Um, so we have gotten a lot of people saying, oh, you guys should be on The Voice because they would love you there. And um, what we think when we hear that, we appreciate it a lot that people think that we would go on it. But um, we really do music not because we want to be like famous or anything like that. We just want to um, like spread our music to like people that want to listen to it. Okay, that sounds nice, but you there's no part of you that wants to be famous, Megan. Uh n- I mean, what we do is we play our music for the people that want to listen to it and if a lot of people like it, then I'm okay with a lot of people wanting to listen to our music, but our goal isn't really to be like popular or famous. Maddie, any part of you want to be famous? So, when I was really young, that's pretty much all I wanted to do. But, like, almost everything changed since then to where I just want to make people happy, like the people who want to listen to us, and just to be good for us. Hmm. (laughs) Where do you see yourself going then? I mean, would you want to pursue music into college, you know, like the Berkeley College of Music, something like that? Yeah, I definitely want to do music for the rest of my life. I don't know um, about a full-time career though I would love to do that I'm also really interested in like math and science and so maybe something like with music and so I can incorporate a few other things into that oh how about for you Maddie um pretty much the same thing I want to do like a part-time job of that and a part-time of other things what are your other interests um so this is gonna sound sort of weird I'm (laughs) interested in well, it's pretty much just overall nature, 
but I like trees and wood and like everything about that sort of thing. Hmm. You could become a dendrologist, a tree scientist. I would love that. Okay. <laughs> We're talking to the Cody sisters. They're a rising bluegrass act based in Parker. Uh, Maddie, you, as I said, uh, do a lot of the writing, and, and uh, you've got another original on this album. It's called Abandoned Gas Station. I didn't have a lot of money to take her. What's the audience like for bluegrass in Colorado? Um, well, it depends what part of Colorado we're in, but where are, where are you biggest? Um, a lot of the places that we play in are like up in Lyons or Boulder or Golden, like those areas. I think people appreciate the bluegrass music a lot. Um, and then sort of where we're from, um, down in Parker, a lot of people um really appreciate it, but I think that it's not really their type. Yeah, as hmm. much. In your own backyard. Very quickly, yeah. Maddie, what would be your dream venue to play? Where would you love to play? Um, it's a hard question. I really like playing in, like, theaters, but, like, where everyone comes to see us. Mm. And, like, they, oh, I got one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so we go to this festival every year, um, Rocky Grass, Bluegrass Festival. It's in Lyons. Yeah. And... It's a really cool place, and I it would be really fun to play there. To play yeah. there? You've, you've yeah. gone as audience members. Yeah, we I go see. every year. It's the Cody sisters, Megan and Maddie. They're from Parker. They'll be at the Rocky Grass Academy in Lyons this summer, and we have links to their dozen or so other front-range shows at cprnews.org. Finally, here's a song by Megan and Maddie's dad, Steve Cody. She doesn't change the strings from the album Strings. It's about a girl whose dad has died, and all she has left is the strings on his guitar. No 